What's up, Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. Today, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Uh, we're talking Saints offensive scheme, and I just want to give you a couple of, of little plays that I think will be helpful uh, as you kind of look to maybe utilize this playbook. It's got a really unique formation in it that I really like. It's called the Empty Saint. I think there's a lot of things that we can accomplish uh, from utilizing this. So um, if today's video is helpful, uh, I would recommend hitting that subscribe button below. Uh, that way you can get access to future content. Okay, so yesterday we talked about the play Saints deep in as a really effective play uh, that we can utilize. What we're going to talk about today uh, is this play drive unders. And I think this is actually... Uh, really, really close second because it's basically levels, and I think it does a really, it's a really phenomenal play in my opinion. So it's it's, it's pretty much levels. I mean, we've seen this before. What we're going to do a little different uh, out of this is we're going to take Ezekiel Elliott. We're going to put him on an in route, uh, and then what we're going to do, what we, what I've kind of debated on this one is leaving Williams wide, right? But I like the motion that we have with him, so. Uh, you can do a couple of different things. If you want to bring him in, make everything look the same, you can bring him in. What I would recommend on this one, if you do that, to put Cole Beasley then on a quick out. Okay. Uh, you could also put Cole Beasley on a streak. I personally think a quick out is better uh, because on the play deep in, if you remember, he's on a uh, he's on a quick slant. Okay. So you see a little bit of a variation there. The first read on this is uh, pretty simple. We're just going to look right to Zeke. If he's open, we're going to hit him. Uh, just a quick little, just a quick little route. Get the ball in your hands, uh, really, really quick. The beauty of this play, in my opinion, is a couple things. Uh, if they run hard flats, okay, which they're going to have to do uh, to take away Ezekiel Elliott, so they're running a hard flat. All of a sudden, you got your C route, okay, and it's going to your number one target, Des Bryant. Now, if neither of those reads work, what you're going to want to do then, you're going to look left. You're going to say, okay, is that open? Okay, now I'm going to look back to my right, and I'm going to try to hit either Terrence Williams or Jason Witten. Now, this is very critical. Please listen to what I'm about to say. Um, this is probably the most important tip uh, for running this play, okay, is when you're throwing the ball to Jason Witten, you need to use a high pass lead. If you don't use a high pass lead, it's really not going to work. But if you use a high pass lead, what you'll find is it's actually a very effective little route uh, because what happens is it's very difficult to guard when you're in a zone defense, okay? So what we want to do, we drop back, we say, okay, we want to throw a Witten, throw that high pass lead. It's going to give you a nice aggressive catch animation. In my opinion, it's going to be very effective for you. Um, remember that on the deep in play that we talked about yesterday, Jason Witten's running a streak. Now he's going to be running uh, an in route. So you see the little bit of a variation there. Um, the beauty against man-to-man, -man, Terrence Williams' route should be fairly effective against it. Um, the better route running you have there, the, the better he's going to do. Okay, It's really that simple. Um, if you want to, what you could do, honestly, um, is you could put Williams on the out and, and leave Cole Beasley on the in. And you could do it that way if you wanted to, uh, just so you get better route running. But to me, I like... Williams' route a little bit better than Cole Beasley. Uh, in my opinion, it'll work a little better. You can also motion snap Williams. Like if he's just kind of coming in like this, just kind of a little, little motion, uh, it's going to give him a little bit better separation in man if they're running man-to-man. -man. But what, I'll, what you'll find uh, is that a lot of people are just running cover two. That's really what a lot of people are going to do, okay? And, um, again, when they when they don't run that hard flat, you've got that quick out to Cole Beasley. So don't be afraid to throw that consistently. Uh, but this is just something small. Uh, but I'm telling you guys, this is a really, really good play. I, I really, really do like this play um, because what it does is it does it counters uh, what we were trying to accomplish with the other with the other plays that we were utilizing. The other cool part about this C route specifically is it's a little bit deeper. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit deeper than your average C route. Um, you see there that it gets separation against cover two uh, once it's up deep up the field there. So uh, I find this to be really, really effective uh, because you can kind of get it into a, a unique little spot there for Des Bryant to go get the ball. Uh, so to me, this is one of the better um, plays to complement that deep end play that we talked about yesterday. Tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to share uh, one more play from this 
formation that I think is going to kind of bring everything full circle. We've got our power. This is what I would say is your counter play. And then tomorrow we're going to kind of figure out a little bit of a constraint theory play that you can utilize in certain situations that I think is really going to help you. So uh, if you want to watch that video, be sure to subscribe. Also, real quick, if you could do me a favor, uh, for those of you guys that are members of the channel, just share this video with somebody. It, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, you blast it on Facebook or whatever. Just send it. Just send it in a text to your friend. Just, just kind of share it. Let people know uh, about the channel. That would be a big help for me. Uh, just trying to credit, kind of get some growth going here. So uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for your time, and, uh, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.